I like to think that you took the sourest lemon that life has to offer and turned it into something resembling lemonade. In thinking of this quote, my mind averts to Rachel and David's relationship. Rachel and David had been through a lot together, both the good times and the bad. They fell in love, establishing a love for one another grounded in their love for God. They worked together, traveled together, and made everlasting memories. I knew the second he started calling me and talking about this girl that he works with, and I was like, oh goodness. He was head over heels for you. Then, Rachel was unfortunately diagnosed with breast cancer. If David hadn't already shown his love for her, his care and support throughout her battle proved he will be with her in the darkest of times. And it was the cutest thing to get to watch him fall in love with you. And you guys, like Brittany said, you guys have seen a lot of life already. And you guys have conquered it with courage and love and compassion for one another. And I couldn't be prouder of either of you. May the hinges of friendship never rust or the wings of love lose a feather. Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom, may they live happily forever. So guys, we're all here under extreme circumstances, <laughs> right? You know, this is a historical time in our, in our world, a historical time for us. But in the sight of God and these few witnesses to unite Rachel and David in holy matrimony. And while circumstances are different, there is no formal ceremony yet. There is no, uh, you know, pomp and circumstance, but still, it's a very significant time to be able to unite two people in love um, together. Your love is like the ocean tide. Stay On behalf of David and Rachel and their families, welcome. Um, you guys know why we're all here today. Uh, because we all want to be like David and Rachel when we grow up. <laughs> I mean, who gets two weddings? <laughs> Wake up in the field when the morning comes. Rachel, we made it to this moment from passing your leftovers in the stockroom at J. Crew to sandwiches in Italy, airplanes to hospital waiting rooms. Will, what time is it? North Carolina, my favorite state. <laughs> I vow to write all of your Instagram captions when your ideas run dry. <laughs> I promise to keep queso and cheeseburgers around yes. so you can always have your favorite snacks. What was that saying that David used to say a lot? Put it right there. Put it right there. Can I get it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But lastly, I promise to point our relationship to Christ, to lead our household, and to love you every step of the way. I love you now, tomorrow, and forever. We made it through a longer engagement than we wanted due to surgeries, then a pandemic, causing us to postpone even more. I vow to stand by you through anything and everything that life throws our way. I promise to always take care of you when I know you need it most. Yes. Okay. I need it.
tie it last. Tie it in like a big. Brittany, will you tie the bow? Yeah. <laughs> Only thing that's missing is pockets. I vow to always be little and take advantage of your height when I need anything out of the cabinets. I vow to lead our relationship and future children to the Lord. I vow to keep Christ the center of our relationship always. I vow to support and love you with my whole heart every day until my last breath. I promise to prioritize my relationship with God, trusting the closer I am to Him, the stronger our marriage will be. We are better and stronger together, constantly, consistently, continually, you. David, you are my light, you are my world. You have my entire heart, you make me feel safe. I feel loved, I feel cherished. I thank God for you. I love you for an eternity. All my love, Rachel. We have a world of memories to still make of adventures to partake in. There is no way for me to explain what you mean to me. So I'll start with this. I love you now, tomorrow, and forever. What's your name? Wow. Yes, you do. Just don't cry because my makeup. Oh, wow, Rachel. And as I sat down that day with you guys and I heard your story, I really did think, man, I hope that I would be able to say some of these same things about your faithfulness to each other, about your loyalty to each other, about your love and affection for one another. And the coolest thing is, is that you experienced some of the hardest things prior to the commitment of marriage. By the grace of God, Rachel was diagnosed cancer-free after treatments and surgeries. Unfortunately, out of nowhere, COVID-19 hit. For the safety for all their loved ones, Rachel and David postponed to July. Then, their July wedding had to be pushed back too because of this unexpected virus. We are now six months past their original wedding date, finally able to celebrate the wedding of this special couple. Rachel and David have only just begun their life with one another, but they surely took a sour lemon and have had to endure tough times. But their love allowed them to take this sour lemon and turn it into lemonade. Through sickness, setbacks, and hardships, Rachel and David have pushed through together. They have reveled at the beauty of their life together and purposefully make the choice to make every day better than the last. I now pronounce you, once again, <laughs> husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I love you now, 
tomorrow and forever. I love you now, tomorrow and forever. <laughs>